All right. Okay. Today we are back with another Attack on Titan reaction video. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. We're going to start season three today. We have two OVAs to watch first though, right? Yeah. But we are indeed going to start season three, brother. And I cannot wait. How you feeling? It has been how long since we last recorded an AOT reaction? Mm, four days, three days. Yeah. And we have had a lot to think about, right? We went back, watched the previous three episodes in dub. We missed quite a lot. It was surprising how much yeah. the people told us we sort of missed. And some main things as well, some biggies. <laughs> yeah, which we'll go over before yeah. we jump in. But I am so freaking excited. Who was that? So freaking excited. I've never heard you like that before, Jared. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling all right. Um, I'm feeling okay. <laughs> Is this the point in the show where you start getting tired of asking the same questions you had plus 20 new ones every single episode? Is that around this time? Yeah. Yeah. I saw some people saying that they want us to begin theorizing. Right. I have seen that too. Yeah. Trying to come up with our theories because we ask a ton of questions that we just throw out there. We don't really try to answer because they can't be answered yet. Um, but yeah, I might try to come up with a few theories today. Okay. I mean, we. I feel like we do come up with many theories. I saw someone say sometimes our theories... Like we get too attached to them. Yes. And we start, yeah. it starts blurring what's happening on the screen actually. Yeah. And we start missing things. Like the Mikasa moment. We were convinced that Mikasa, or at least, I don't know who started it. Yeah. But we were convinced in a way that Mikasa was about to turn into a Titan. I'm still convinced. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Yeah. Right. And just thinking about how smart and clever and conniving is that a word conniving's word yeah. conniving some of the people out there are yeah right yeah. who say some things like guys you totally missed this part you were so focused on mikasa becoming a titan that she confessed her love to Aaron. right they never said that mikasa is not a titan you know what i mean well they're just doing their job Jordan. yeah yeah i have another Semi theory as well. We'll get to. Okay. I can't wait to hear it, brother. Yeah. So let's jump on in, man. Uh, as the people know, before we jump back in to watching our three episodes at a time, we have a discussion and then we jump into some comments. Yeah. So I think it's time to have that discussion. We have finished season two, man, which was the shortest. But still, so much jam-packed into, what, 12 episodes? Yeah. So much happened. Let's talk about it. All right. Specifically, the past three episodes, including the finale. All right. So, how are we going to start this, brother? You go first. All right. Let's see what I wrote down from my rewatch of the dub, man. All right, the final comment comes to us from Manuel and Manuel, or man, is it Manuel? I think it's Manuel. Manuel writes, if you want something to watch between season two and three, I'd recommend reacting to Yuki Kaji's, Aaron's voice actor, replicating a specific scene of this episode in a Japanese TV show. He is the voice actor. Here's the link if interested. All right. Okay. Can I check that out? Absolutely. And we're told it's only about three minutes long. So let's watch it. So again, this is Aaron's voice actor, Yuki Kaji, replicating a specific scene of this episode. So replicating instead of, uh, it's not the original, right? Yeah. 
So he's just like replicating it. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. All right, let's watch it. Crazy. <laughs> That's quite scary. I'm taken aback. Truly. I'm really taken aback by that. How you feeling? This is some real shit. Yeah. Right? This brings AOT to life. Yeah. Um, I think as viewers, we can get lost and forget that real people are playing these characters. Yeah, I feel the same. Right. I, I don't know what we think we're watching. <laughs> exactly. But I think that's the power of this whole entire thing. Yes. Anime in general. Yes. Like, you, you forget yep. what it is that you're actually watching. <sighs> yeah. Spot and, on, brother. And just the, the craft, right? This is art, Jordan. Yeah. You have to bring together amazing storytelling. Right, you have to bring in incredible animation, mm. incredible drawing, yeah. and then you have to add in unreal voice acting. Skilled, 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 trained. Yes, 
voice actors. And for it all to come together, yeah. that's why AOT is one of the greatest shows of all time. Well said, brother. And like Manuel says, man, replicating a specific scene, yeah. that is what is most impressive to me. Yeah, This was replicated. And you could see right. that they were looking at the screen right. and trying to match what they're saying with the words of the characters right. on screen. Oh my, I can only imagine how messy and difficult and borderline torturous it can get sometimes for voice actors mm -hmm. when they feel that they didn't get the right emotion. Because you saw Aaron's voice actor, Yuki Kaji, you saw him laughing. Yeah. And that's when Aaron was laughing. You felt Aaron laughing. I'm like, wait, is Aaron crying? Is Aaron laughing? He was like in between a laugh and a cry. That's what it was. Yeah. But, but you could see what he had to do to bring that emotion out. Yeah. He had to literally laugh himself and then go into that desperate. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, Jared, these, that's a skill. Yeah. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah, this may change things going forward for us. Yeah. Like now, when we see Aaron, I want to think of Yuki Kaji. Ah! Don't let me find out that you've fallen in love with Mikasa's voice actress. <laughs> Don't that let was, me, don't let me that find. Was, that was Mikasa in the flesh. Oh my goodness. It is crazy hearing <laughs> their voices. And it's like, wait, what? This person oh, actually is the voice actor? Yeah, yeah. I thought that was Aaron. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah, thank you so much, Manuel, for sending us this link. And we will probably check out many other voice actors for other yes. characters as we continue to go forward. Yeah. But this was incredible. Thank you, man. All right, brother. All right. I think it's time to jump in. OVAs, let's go. So this is uh, the, what, sixth OVA or fifth that we, I think it's the sixth that we'll have seen so far. Yeah, I can't remember. Nonetheless, uh, a lot of the OVAs we have seen do directly relate to the plot and overall yep. storyline. I believe the reason people are telling us to watch these two, which have to do with Annie, are because they relate to the storyline. Okay. But we don't know exactly what we're getting ourselves into. We're going to treat it just like another episode, though. So up first, we have an OVA titled Lost Girls, Wall Cena. Goodbye, part one. All right. So let's jump on in, everybody. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Is that when Marco died? Wait, what? Oh. A dream. Nasana Kereva Narana Kutoa. Naniga wrote to Nasana Kereva Narana. Son of Tamino. Oh, could not see one. I was Serena Kereva Narana. わかってるよ。そんなこと。それは明日も同じ。使命のためには誰かの手でこの手を攻めなきゃならない。My mm. mission reminds me of what um Bertolt was talking about. Yeah.明日の任務第57回壁外調査にてエレンイエーカーの捕獲。Wow. Man, it is so easy to forget that she was the first one who tried to bring Aaron yes. to wherever Reiner and Bertolt were going to yeah. bring him, right? Yeah. And again, that word mission. Mission. Right? It's not like they want to do this. Right. Yeah. 
練のよ。何何よ。要はに、憲兵団はどうだ。こっちは壁外調査を控えて、訓練の真っ最中だ。とにかく、長距離作的人形とやらを覚えるのが大変でな。こんなことなら、俺も憲兵団に入っとくんだった。エレンは別の班だから、最近ってないが。絶望的につまんないからライナーズボイスまあんたの知り合いならしょうがないかっていうかあんたせっかくの非番なのにまた平服なんか着てんのそんなんじゃモテないよって教えてあげたじゃんあんた愛想ないんだからさおしゃれくらいしなきゃいつか機会があればねそれより明日の宮内巡回なんだけど病欠ってことにしておいてもらえない別にいいけどさ、なんでちょっとしたやぼよがあってね。あのさ、非番ってやぼよを済ませるためにあるわけだよね。<笑>今日済ませなよ。向こうにも都合ってものがあってね。<笑>うん、じゃ、一つ貸しね。家出しちゃったんだって、その人。それで ?5 日くらい前かな。お前さんがしてこいって先輩に押し付けられちゃってさ。ほんとやってらんないよねそれでそのさそれでってやつやめてくんない尋問されてる気分なんだけどいつか他の表現を思いついたらねそれでまあいいそれで私ってこう見えて結構忘れっぽくってさ忘れないうちに返してほしいんだよねさっきの歌詞なるほど交換条件ってわけ嫌ならいいよ無断欠勤すれば本部に記録残っちゃうけどねどうせそれが嫌なんでしょどうする交渉成立ね<笑>それでどんな男なのあんたの野暮よどうせなんでしょう。<笑>まさかさっきのライナーなんとかじゃないわよねねどんな男15メートル級の<笑>あんたさ、シェーライン。いや、シェーライン。絶望的につまんないから。Is that a hitch? I can't remember if that's... <笑>カーリー・ストラットマン。ファピアクサンジュネルマレ。ファタチ。マルレンショーカイのカイチョウ。ファピアクサンジュネルマレ。ファタチ。マルレンショーカイのカイチョウ。エリオットジー・ストラットマンの一人娘。カイチョウ。マルレンショーカイのカイチョウ。エリオットジー・ストラットマンの一人娘。カイチョウ。マルレンショーカイのカイチョウ。エリオットジー・ストラットマンの一人娘。カイチョウ。マルレンショーカイのカイチョウ。エリオットジー・ストラットマンの一人娘。カイチョウ。マルレンショーカイのカイとても非番を楽しむ気にはなれなくてねそれに借りを少しは返さないと気分が悪い変なやつだなませいぜい頑張れよ何かをしていないとつい明日のことを考えてしまって気がめいるだから今は少しだけ兵士ごっこに気をつけてプレイン・ソージャー It's interesting seeing her true feelings、yep. about the entire situation. She's always got the same expression on her face. Yeah. Okay, so that's Carly's father. しかし、捜査中だったはずのあんたは一つの手がかりも得ていないという。つまりあんたはそれだけ無能ということか。そう考えていただいて結構です。違うな。あんたは嘘をついている。この10日間。<笑> Oh, 
今朝は私のところへなるほどつまりあんたが私の娘を探す唯一の人間というわけかそうですあんたは勤めて何年になるひとつきです<笑><笑>私はこれまでに多額の税金を納めてきたその周知がこれらしい大事な一人娘の捜査に入団1ヶ月のひよっこが送り込まれてきたお気に召さなければ追い返していただいて結構です民間業者に娘さんの捜索を依頼なさればいい悪くない選択肢だではだが問題がある民間業者は詐欺師の集まりだ金を踏んだくることばかりに頭を使うなそして私は自分の目を信じておる人間を見る目だあんたはひよっこだが信頼に値する人間だと私の目は言っておる、うん、娘を探してくれんかそれが仕事ですから I love the animation of the cigarette、mm. for some reason、mm -hmm. はい、あれは捜索願いを出した2日前のことだその日の夕食に娘は姿を現さんかったそんなことはこれまでに一度もなかった私と娘はどれだけ忙しくても夕食だけは必ず一緒にとっておったからなそれさえ守ればお互いに干渉をしないそれが我々の間のルールだった最後にお会いしたのはその前日の夕食の時だその時娘さんに普段と変わったところはありましたか私の見た限りではない娘さんの交友関係やよく立ち寄る場所などご存知ですか知らん娘さんは普段何をされていたのですか知らん娘さんが普段何をしているのかご存知ないということでしょうか<笑>そう娘は3年前にアインリヒ大学校を出て以来何もしとらん専攻は化け学ださっきも言ったが我々はお互いに一切干渉せんことにしとるたとえ娘がどれだけ遊び歩こうが構いやせん娘さんはよく遊び歩いていたのですか例えばの話だ実際のところはわからん誘拐ということはそれはないだろう何の要求も来とらんからな娘さんとの関係は良好でしたか娘が何を考えておったのか私にはまるでわからんよ娘が何を考えているかわからない。Mm. I was just thinking, yeah. 先着バンダイだ。昔を思い出すよ。ところであんたはどうして憲兵団に入った。なぜです。あんたのような人は珍しいから。内地での平和で穏やかな暮らしを手に入れたかっただけです。他に理由が必要とは思えませんそうだな。他に何か聞きたいことはあるかね ?This guy is a little suspicious. いい yeah. 何かわかればまた伺います。よろしく頼む。あんたは私が嘘をついていることが分かってるんだ。はその通り。でもあんただって何か隠している。And who is that just walking out in the, in the yard? Yeah. And what did he pass him?、Mm. Oh, you're talking about the person in the yard outside yeah, yeah. the window? Yeah. Yeah.、Mm. All right. And I mean, Annie's a great detective. You think? Right? That was like some great questioning there. A great line of questioning, I thought. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We have some information available for public disclosure. It says the Stoist District, a city at the eastern part of Walshina. While there's a wealthy neighborhood there, in the back streets are bars and such where manual laborers gather, which results in a disorderly atmosphere. 
Also, there were once plans to build an underground city, but for some reason it came to a standstill, and some of its subterranean passages still remain today. All right. Is this the same underground city that we saw Levi grow up in? Mm. The eastern part of Walshina. Yeah. I can't remember what part of Walshina yeah. that was under. Yeah. But... Yeah, maybe. Okay. I don't know. All right. I love the guy's voice and the animation of the cigarette. Like... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. 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 お前たちと一緒にするな。いや。私と私の父親だって十分奇妙か。つらいかに。しかし全ては使命を果たすためだ。使命を果たすことがお前がこの世に生を受けた意味だ。It's the reason you were given life in this world. Yeah.私と父親の間にはその言葉しか存在しなかった。Damn. まて。カーリーは父親の金で生活していた。なのに父親は娘のこと対等の存在のように話していた。我々はお互いに一切干渉せんことにしとる。たとえ娘がどれだけ遊び歩こうが構いやせん。遊び悪く。シエタイ。マ
それ以来誰も見てねえなぜ怒り出したのこのマヌケのせいだカーリンの前でコデロインなんて飲んだから<笑> Did he just take one of those? <笑>でも変なんだ俺たちいつも他の役やってるけどカーリンは特に何も言わなかったでもコデロインを見たら怒ったなぜ She's a chemist. She studied chemistry. Yeah. なんでカーリーのことを知らないと嘘をついたの。うちに帰れなくなるよ。待ってくれよ。カーリーは何かやべえことやってると思ったからだ。あいつの親父は落ちぶれた。でもカーリーはたんまり金を持ってた。どう考
Who that? Hiding right there. You saw that? Ooh, no. Look all the way to the right. Wow. That's an arm, no? You got a good eye, yeah. I think it's the angle. Maybe Carly was putting together some type of potion. Yeah, something, right? There's the uh what's oh, it called? The Coderoin? Coder yeah, something. Coderoin. Coderoin. <laughs> Oh, ah. snap. Is he alive? Duff. Oh, dead, dead. It's abuse. She's going to pretend to be Carly, huh? Okay. All right. Very interesting. <laughs> was he dead? The he, guy? He was either dead or just playing mute, right? Because uh, the, the whoever is outside was saying, "You be quiet." Did you see how he looked? Yeah. And then I believe Annie put her fingers by his nose to yeah. see if he's breathing. Oh. Yeah, that's not a dead face. That's like a... Almost look like a... Titan? <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a Titan at this point, Jerk. Yeah, oh, this no. does resemble... Maybe the Titan that killed Aaron's mother? Or... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're not going to get into any of, yeah. any of those. But it looks like uh, one of the actors that uh, is in one of the Adam Sandler... Oh movies. my goodness. Oh my. <laughs> Don't do him like that, Jerry. What do you mean? Look exactly like him. No, that's true. <laughs> that is true. All right. What did you think about this first Annie OVA? Very interesting to see what goes on in a day in the life of Annie in, yeah. in the military police. Um, important work, right? hard work maybe not for annie but work that requires skill yeah. right up until this point we haven't really seen what the military police do mm. you know they're detectives they they're police officers that take care of inside the walls right you know but yeah i don't uh, she's doing this as a favor she has a mission to complete yeah i wonder if she's gonna find carly and if so, what Carly's been up to, what Kemper has to do with all of this. Yeah. Do you think this whole Carly Kemper situation relates to the overall plot or some aspect of the plot of AOT? I have absolutely no idea. But if it does, I would go out on a limb and say that Carly has been cooking up something. Mm. We're testing different things because she studied chemistry. Yeah. And her dad just sort of seems like, yeah, he just lets her, leaves her to do whatever she does. Yeah. That was a weird dynamic. Yeah. But it brought Annie back to flashbacks between her and her dad. Yep. Which, I mean, if we get anything out of these OVAs, I imagine we're here to learn more about Annie right. and what's going on with her but yeah I, damn. yikes damn i don't know what i would do if i looked under the bed and you saw this chair yeah i do exactly what annie did damn <laughs> oh man and she spilled whatever that was yeah i hope that wasn't and then who was the guy he's just a neighbor you think i, I don't know but him saying this makes it seem like there has been some 
noise noise recently yeah right so i don't know if this person is dead or not is this carly who that uh oh oh has carly been drinking her own stuff <laughs> maybe <laughs> early early onset titan <laughs> possibly look and i couldn't tell if the person was alive or not because she said Shh. yeah yeah Say something, say I'm sorry. Whimper and apologize like you always, always do. do. Yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> and then the door opens. Yeah. Boom. All right. Okay. On to the next OVA. On to the next. We're going to go watch part two of Lost Girls Wall Cena Goodbye. And maybe we will find out more information. Let's go. Thanks, everybody, for watching this OVA with us. Leave a comment down below. We'll see you soon. We love you. Do not forget. Be kind. And keep an open mind, everybody. Peace. Peace.